single sign-on when it comes to being able to authenticate to our cloud services we want to be able to validate that we are who we are and to do this as efficiently as possible when it comes to authentication authorization and accounting this is typically a term that we use to control access to the appropriate network services and even cloud services. Now, when it comes to authentication, authorization, for example, one of the things to bring up is to understand some of the common uh, standards that may be used out in the industry. Now, SAML is widely used in the industry and we certainly want to know um, what SAML is for the exam. Basically SAML is a way to provide federation when it comes to our user profiles and also our identity management for the cloud platform. Now typically SAML OAuth and OpenID, for example, are commonly confused. So there's a chart coming up. I'm going to go through these to help you uh, gauge your understanding. Now, when it comes to OpenID, this is a little bit different. This is, for example, if we want to log into a newspaper site or another um, commercial site, let's say, and they say, how do you want to log in? You want to create an account, use your email, or would you like to use your Facebook account or your LinkedIn account or your, you know, uh, you know, other social media account, uh, for example, whatever that is. Again, Snapchat, uh, you, you know, again, if you're if you want to do that, that's available. So that's that's open ID. That's not really an enterprise solution. We don't want to use OpenID for our corporate cloud resources. So just be aware of that. And then when it comes to OpenID, there's certainly a lot of vulnerabilities to this. Phishing attacks are going to be very common, authentication flaws. And again, it is not meant to be an enterprise solution. Now, open authentication, the current standard is 2.0. And this is uh, somewhat different than OpenID and SAML, um, where this is not really used for authentication. Uh, and this, this is uh, really meant for authorization. Now, when it comes to open authentication, this is still not really what would be considered a very secure protocol. However, it's commonly used when it's used in the right scenario, the right way. Now, just to compare these, and again, this is another discussion that would take a lot longer, uh, but I, I wanted to make sure that you sort of could put this together and compare. So if you're taking the Cloud Plus exam, it really comes down to you understanding the difference between, do we use OpenID, do we use Open Authentication, or do we use SAML? And the reason to use uh, open auth authorization, for example, OAuth, is for APIs generally. So if your developers want to bring the cloud services together with on-prem or other cloud services, this is really awesome because the developers, it really makes them much more efficient, especially when integrating your environment. However, when it comes to enterprise users, we want to use SAML. When it comes to consumers, in other words, if we have like an e-commerce account where we sell widgets to the consumers, then OpenID is probably perfectly acceptable. These are risks that, again, you need to look at uh, and determine what makes sense. And the main test tip here is to know the three options and to understand what's appropriate for your enterprise and what's appropriate for consumers. Open ID is easy to, to, to remember, right? That's going to be your Facebook login, your LinkedIn, your Twitter, whatever you want to use. And then if it's enterprises, we need to determine if it's going to be used for APIs or if it's going to be for single sign-on. 